Hello everyone, ignore the mess that is this. It's morning, I'm officially on vacation, so I'm not being, I'm, very, I'm being very lazy. But welcome to the beginning of a very exciting vlog. Today I'm gonna be starting a Christmas reading type of vlog. So I have two books that I've been saving for this vlog that I'm gonna be reading for the next couple days and I've decided to vlog it and share my thoughts about them and make a very fun little holiday type of video. So without further ado, I'm gonna show you guys the two books I have for this video and we're gonna get started with the vlog. So the first one is Blame It on the Mistletoe by Beth Garrett. Um, I don't really know what this is about, but according to the synopsis, there's some kind of switch and a little romance. So. This is a YA book. I'm not expecting too much romance, but I'm really reading it for the Christmassy vibes. And I've heard that this is very cute. So I'm excited to get started with this. And the other one is a adult Christmas novel called Meet Me in London by Georgia Tafolo. And this is the synopsis. I haven't read it, so I don't really know what this is about, but I guess we'll see. And to be honest, I don't even know if this is a Christmas novel or just like a wintry vibe kind of novel, but I guess we'll see when we read it. So these are the two books I'm planning to read in the next couple days, and I'm going to bring you guys with me. It's now noon, so I'm going to make some lunch, and I'm going to I'm planning on just making a casserole, rice casserole with some cheese and chicken. I really love that comfort food, so I'm going to make that. And then I'm probably gonna get some reading done because, like I said, I'm now on Christmas break, so I can just do all the reading I want to do, and that's what I plan to do. So, so I have all the ingredients, and in a second, you're gonna see everything combined as a hopefully delicious meal. really good um it was a bit salty though so next time i make it i'm just not gonna use as much salt as they say um but anyways now that i've eaten lunch i'm gonna get reading done and i decided to start with blame it on the mistletoe so yeah i'm gonna read for the next maybe hour just really relax i don't have anything to do so that that's a great feeling so yeah i'm gonna update you guys when i'm when i'm reading when I hit a certain amount of pages. Hey, so I didn't really film an intro for today, but right now I'm at Fabricville. I'm in the parking lot and I'm gonna go in. But basically after that, I'm gonna go shop for some Christmas uh, presents because I'm not done yet, but I saved today to do that. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna bring you guys with me. I don't think I'm gonna talk too much throughout it. So I'm mainly just gonna vlog and try to show as little as possible because they are Christmas presents for people who can watch these videos but still I'm gonna make a little festive vlog portion of this whole vlog so enjoy <laughs> Okay, so I think I did enough damage for today. Um, I'm gonna look at the presents I have and then I'll see if I need to get anything else. And if I do, I'll just go and get it. But for today, I think I'm done. I'm gonna go home and order Chinese food and just relax. 
Hello. I have not stopped ever since the last time we talked. Um, I've been to the store again and I finished all my Christmas presents, so that's great. We also went to the grocery store to get some stuff to make recipes this week, so I'm excited about those. But right now, I'm gonna order some Chinese food for dinner. Uh, they were closed for lunch, so I'm gonna get it for dinner. And for the rest of the evening, I think I'm just gonna read. I read close to nothing yesterday. Like, I read like the prologue and that's it. But today, I think I'm gonna read maybe to halfway um, into the book. And also, I want to plan out a video that I wanna film tomorrow. So those are the plans for the evening. Chinese food is here. I've got so many things, but I've been craving Chinese for so long, so no regrets here. <laughs> it's 8 p.m. and I'm in my room and I'm so tired for some reason. Um, but I am gonna read a little bit before I actually sleep, but like, I'm so, so tired. I'm super duper tired. I could sleep right now, but I'm gonna relax and read and then go to bed pretty early, I think. Everyone, good morning. It's like almost 10 a.m. I woke up at like 8, but I took some time to chill on my phone in my bed. Uh, and now I think I'm just gonna watch Hawkeye while drinking my coffee. And after that, I'm gonna plan out the video that I was supposed to do yesterday so I can film it today. And I'm gonna read. So it's a very chill morning. And I'm not gonna lie, I'm excited for 12 or like around 12 p.m. because I'm gonna eat that less leftover uh, Chinese food. So I'm, I'm looking forward to that. I'm done filming. Um, I really like the video actually. Now I'm actually gonna go and like uh, transfer the footage that I have for that video on my computer right away so that I don't forget. And after that, it's really just a day of relaxing. I'm gonna read for sure as much as I can. I'm gonna watch on TV, maybe play some Zelda. I don't know yet, but it's gonna be relaxing. Very, very, a very rest kind of day now that I've done uh, the video, so. I've also been drinking Sunny Delight, which I have not drank since I was maybe like 10 years old. Hello everyone, good morning. It's Thursday. Um, I didn't vlog much yesterday, but we did have like some annoying news. So basically, um, the movie theater had to refund us of our tickets for Spider-Man um, because of COVID. So the way I understand it, we had tickets for tomorrow, Friday, um, but they had to cancel all, all of their show times for Friday and then like pick it back up on Saturday so technically we don't know when we're going but ideally will be Saturday we just have to get on the computer ASAP on Saturday morning and get some tickets but yeah that was annoying um, honestly you can't blame the, the movie theater too much because it's COVID it's not um, they can't control it yeah, it's unfortunate, but hopefully we'll see it Saturday instead of tomorrow. Um, but other than that, I am just about to like just deal with some stuff on my computer, like uploading my video, like schedule it for Saturday. I 
am about to go make some food for dinner um and I'm, I'm so bad at vlogging in this vlog so i'm sorry i'm really just like resting a lot so you know that's good but like i pick up the camera like three times every day and that's it but i'm gonna do like a little uh, vlogish portion of me making the food i guess because it looks so so good and i can't wait to try it and I've also been doing a lot of progress in Blame It in the Mistletoe, and I think, without jinxing it, that I can finish it today, so that would be exciting. So I just passed the halfway mark and I'm liking this, it's cute. It's cute and it's fun and just very Christmassy. Um, just really like giving me a happy feeling while reading it. But my, my one issue is like, I don't know how much I like the whole premise of the book. Basically this girl who is like a, who is like a small influencer from New York participates in like a Christmas, um, challenge on Twitter and basically the goal is to gain 20,000 followers very quickly like before everybody else so like I just feel like sometimes if your goal is to gain a bunch of followers really quickly it can become very fake and you can get lost in it but that's just how I feel like how I view it um, the way that gaining followers is portrayed in this book is it's like super important it's like, it's the main subject of the book. So like, I'm really hoping this book ends on like a note where it's like, why did I care so much about those followers? Because like when I could have just had like a good Christmas time instead of focusing on followers. Does that make any sense? If you've read the book, I think you know what I mean. But like, basically the influential girl is spending Christmas time in London, well close to London, in, in the UK and she's focusing on getting as much followers as she can get before Christmas instead of really enjoying Christmas time and that's pretty much the whole point I'm trying to make I hope it's gonna like resolve into her realizing like hey, I missed out on Christmas because I cared about a stupid internet challenge, you know? Anyways I just finished the book, uh, it's like 9.30 p.m. Um, and it took me way less time than I thought it would take me to finish it today. So overall, I really liked it. It was very fun, Christmassy, um, a very happy book. Like this book will make you smile and very funny too. Um, like I said, the only problem I had with it was like the like huge importance of followers on social medias. Um, but that was talked about more in like the second half of the book, so overall I'm happy with it. I think I'm gonna give it a four stars on Goodreads, and now I'm gonna go to bed because I'm tired. And I also have to wake up early to get my sister um, to her exam in the morning. And then I'm gonna be starting at Meet Me in London probably in the morning tomorrow. So. Hey guys, today is Monday. I haven't done any reading since Thursday, I think. So I think today is the day where I jump into this. But before I do, uh, let me just do a little recap of the last few days. So Friday, we celebrated my birthday. So my birthday is actually tomorrow, but we celebrated uh, last Friday. We went to the to a restaurant and then we went to the movie theater to watch Spider-Man. And then Saturday we packed up to head to my parents' home, which is where I am right now. And that was a, just like a very busy day, so I didn't do any reading there. Then yesterday, Sunday, I was not feeling good. I took like a four hour nap and just watched movies, so I didn't read yesterday either. And now it's today, so.
I'm hoping to get some reading done today. I do have a goal of reading the whole book today, which would be great. Um, we'll see if I actually succeed. And I also have my chef's plate order coming in today, so that's pretty exciting. So I'm probably going to make one of those recipes today. And there's my dog just chilling on the couch. So that pizza was really amazing. Uh, it was actually the first homemade pizza I've ever made. And it was really different from what I usually eat uh, for pizza. Um, this one had like a pesto slash mayonnaise garlic type of sauce with like with bacon and tomatoes and spinach and all that. But it was amazing, I really liked it. But now I'm gonna spend the evening reading uh, I'm not going to make an update right away because I don't really know what to talk about yet. Um, but tomorrow for sure I'll have an update about the book. And I'll let you know if I finished it or if I didn't. And if I didn't, I'll update you on where I'm at. But yeah, I think that's pretty much what I'll do tonight. Just some reading. And uh, I'm going to go get some PJs, I think. And a blanket and get all cozy to read. Meet me in London. Hey everyone, it's the next day and it's my birthday. So a happy birthday to me. Um, I don't think we're doing anything special today. I might ask for a cake, so <laughs> I'll see if I if I get one. Um, but I'm here to update. But I am here to update because I finished Meet Me in London uh, like a few minutes ago. And wow, I did not think I was gonna love this so much. I'm just gonna talk a little bit about it uh, uh, because I might uh, film a review for it for my YouTube. So I'll talk about it more then, but Overall, like that book was surprisingly so good. Um, basically follows this girl, Victoria, who's working in a bar, but has a dream of having her own clothing shop because she designs uh, clothing. And then there's this guy who is about to open a new store for this clothing company, uh, Russell and Co, which is like a family uh, company of clothes and they just bump into each other on the streets and basically Oliver the guy needs a fake girlfriend to show his mom that he's thinking about that stuff um because his mom is really like do you have a girlfriend for Christmas should we set a new should we set a an extra plate at the table for Christmas you know stuff like that she's very pushy about that but basically just because they are older, so they want to make sure that Oliver can find himself someone to settle with before they pass on, which is honestly a little bit sad to think about. But so yeah, he asks uh, Victoria if she's interested in being his fiance for the next uh, few days. And from there, there's a romance that sparks, obviously. Um, and that's pretty much all I want to say without spoiling. And uh, yeah, this was so heartwarming, so cute, so fun. And like, 
so deep as well. There's like very serious subjects that are talked about in this book. Uh, I would say just like um, illness and trauma, uh, accidents and death. So yeah, if those things are a bit too much uh, triggering for you, maybe don't read it right away. But if you're fine with them, I really recommend this book. I don't think I gave a rating for Blame It on the Mistletoe. I think I'm going to give it a four stars on Goodreads. And I don't have it with me right now, but um, I also really did like that one. It felt like a more like childish Christmas story, while this one is a way more adult and serious one. So a nice contrast between the two books for this vlog. Um, but yeah, so Blame It on the Mistletoe, I gave it a four stars, I would say. And then this one, I'm going to give a 4.5 because loved it. One of my favorites of the year for sure. Um, I've read it 